We are now visiting C International and with me is Dr. Michael Pavlov, board member and longtime volunteer for this organization. How are you doing? I'm good, Viviana. Thank you. We are glad to have you in our show. And C International has such a good reputation, not only locally, but all around the world, really. So congratulations for that. Thank you. And I would like to start the interview by asking you, what's the mission of C International? Well, the mission of C International is really to restore sight to the blind. And we travel internationally all over the world doing cataract surgeries in almost every country where there's a need. What's the history behind? C International started almost 35 years ago uh, by Dr. Harry Brown. He had the foresight and actually the knowledge base realizing that there was a demand for cataract surgery that was going unserviced uh, around the world. During some of his travels, he would recognize that there were patients in third world countries and undeveloped areas that were not being serviced and these were patients that were walking around blind and essentially uh, non-functional becoming dependent on other family members to take care of them and Harry then made the decision to put together a team to start going to underserved areas and doing cataract surgery. Excellent. Yeah. Now let's talk about the expeditions. How mm -hmm. many do you have per year and what happens during those expeditions? We organize uh, well over a hundred um, expeditions every year and it's a very very complicated process. Um, first of all we have to be invited to a host country. Once we are invited the host doctor will do all the screening of the majority of the patients that are there that need to be serviced and these are patients who don't have any insurance that if Senior National did not come these are patients that would never have surgery. It takes us six to nine months to just plan an expedition. Uh, a normal expedition can be as short as a long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where we go in and do as many cataracts each day as we can to maybe as long as a week. We have to organize the surgical supplies. We have to organize the number of cases that we're going to put together. We uh, approach pharmaceutical companies to donate all of our supplies. And then from that point on, we get as many volunteers and volunteer doctors together as possible. So it's a very, very long, extensive process that we have to go through and there's really multiple layers of volunteers and full-time staff at Sea International that it takes to really get that done. I would like to talk more about the team and you were already mm -hmm. mentioning some points there. So how many people go representing Sea International and, and how many are here in town? Well, Sea International Viviana has several hundred affiliates, surgeon affiliates, ophthalmologists like myself worldwide. And so the team can consist of anywhere from as little as one U.S. or American doctor and then there may be 10 or 12 other physicians, assistant nursing staff, technicians of the, of the host countries or we'll take an entire team with us. So we take with each surgeon we probably have two nurses, we've got uh, technicians and we've got a slew of volunteers that come with us to check the patients in, dilate the patients, help with us preoperatively and then once the patients are done surgically we have a host of volunteers that help with the post-operative care for that day, mm -hmm. get the family members taught on how to take care of the patients, how to administer the eye drops, and then they go home. We have a full-time staff of maybe 12 to 18 people, and we also have a very large volunteer staff that helps. Uh, most of the staff works here full-time, and they are really involved in the day-to-day -day administrative aspect of what goes on at Sea International as far as organizing the fundraisers, um, helping to organize the trips, communicating with doctors internationally as far as getting our organization together and our expeditions uh, together and well organized. They uh, deal with the political aspects of the uh, foreign affairs with different countries. And so we have several different layers of um, staffing that deals with the different aspects of what C has to offer for many patients. Now, having so much need all around the world, how do you select the areas that you will be <laughs> helping? Who has priority? It, um, that's a good question. Uh, again, we are really invited. We have national meetings and international meetings that are held here in the United States. And we have a booth at C International. Mm -hmm. And often we get international doctors, again, from India, Honduras, Peru, Africa, that will come to us. We then explain to them the mission of C International is really that we are here to restore sight to the blind. And they will then sign up as a C affiliate. And at that point, the initial contact is made. That doctor then gets in contact with our staff here at C and expresses their desire for us to come out. 
we then get the ball rolling to take care of the political paperwork that needs to be done for us to even come to that country to do it. So there, the demand is so great that we really can't, we'll never run out of cataract surgery that need to be done. Cataract is the leading cause of blindness in the world. In fact, we can't keep up with enough surgeries. Uh, we're really limited based on supplies and money. So how do you get funded? We get funded purely by um, private donations. We get no government funding at all. Um, so we affiliate with corporations here in the U.S. or internationally. But the bulk of our funding is really private donors. A lot of it comes from private donors in Santa Barbara. But we're really trying to reach out to reach more donors here in the United States, nationally as well as internationally. Um, and really, people think, well, I don't have a lot to give. It's just like a, a, a presidential campaign. There is no sum of money that's, that's too little. We'll take $10, we'll take $20. Uh, again, it cost us $108 to do a cataract surgery. If someone donated a, a, a $1,000, we can do almost 1,000 surgeries. So no donation is too small, and most of our donations, or I should say most, all of our donations are through private donors. The other important thing that C provides here is we have the Santa Barbara um, Vision Care Program, which is totally nonprofit and free, and the local staff here is helping the local community for patients who need eye care also. So how yeah. can people get involved? People can get involved in really uh, multiple ways. One is people can come down to our C office and just volunteer. Donate your time and your services to help us put packages together and get our expeditions organized. People can help out by just donating money sponsor a trip, sponsor a village that we're going to, donate money to provide services. Um, they can donate money to for travel for our staff. Mm -hmm. And the best thing to do is really call C at 805-963-3303, or they can go to our website, www.cintl.org, uh, for cintl.org, or Google us and you can find us and you can donate through there or there's different ways there that people can get involved. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Yourself and C International are really a good example for everyone that is watching and I wish thank the best you. for you and this organization. Thanks, Yeah, I appreciate your time. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.